So you're looking at a new pickup. Uh, you need a full size pickup because you actually need a pickup and not a SUV or some uh, crazy light duty thing. Um, I've been around to a bunch of car lots and doing some comparison. Very surprised at how similar each brand's offerings is. I had found one at uh, Burks from an Appleton. Uh, basically like this one here. Uh, 2024 uh, work truck uh, with a 5.38 cylinder and something other than the plain steel rims. Uh, and it was right at this uh, about the $45,000 price. Um, not sure if that's the work truck front end. This is the work truck front end here. Um, but it, it had the plastic floor, cloth seats, um, 5.3 V8, decent engine. Um, you know good enough basically for a truck I'm not happy that it's still 45 but most of the vehicles you're looking at a lot are more like 60 so what happens three four five years down the road if you trade that in you're you're gonna be up against people that that paid 45 when you paid 60 um, you're just not gonna get your uh, return on investment uh, I'm seeing similar prices in the uh, GMC's, um, I guess they call it Pro or whatever, but crew cab eight cylinder. I, I mean, fairly basic, but I mean, if you're buying a truck to be a truck, you don't need a bunch of fancy stuff. I mean, yeah, actually vinyl seats would probably be better than cloth. Um, in a truck, I really like the vinyl floor, so I like the, uh, the lower trim levels because I don't want to you know, have to scrub carpet in a pickup. Like, I'm using it for pickup stuff. Um, so Chevy um, and GMC, fairly similar. Uh, the Dodge, so if you go to the classic tradesman, basically it looks like the older body style. But I mean, same thing. If you're buying a truck to be a truck, you know, you know, don't get, go, don't get the fancy stuff. I, I don't know how else to put it. Um, the, the tradesman is like their basic. So I, what I'm seeing for the tradesman, it's just a hair less expensive, but, but not much. I mean, like, oh, this one's showing, you know, four or 5,000 less, but, but on the lots, I did not find any quite this uh, inexpensive. When I was looking, I was finding them closer to 45, but on the Dodge, uh, you know, if that's what you're looking for, that's what you're okay with. I mean, see if you can get that you know, close to that $10,000 discount off of a uh, window sticker. Um, if you're paying more than that, uh, you definitely need to shop around. Traditionally, Dodges were, you know, close to that $10,000 off a of window sticker. So I think we're getting back to that. Um, some dealers like to tack stuff on, but I mean, in the rural areas where I am, you know, maybe there's a, uh, well, a lot of them have a document processing fee of like a couple hundred dollars, but that's it. There's no additional markup. You know, don't do like the rust proofing or pinstripes or who knows what they're coming up with. Um, the Ford, when I did this search, looking for the price, I was keeping it to eight cylinder, trying to keep it as close as possible to the other. So I'm seeing Ford uh, very similar priced to Chevy and GMC. Uh, the similarities are actually enough that it really looks like one of them sets the price and the other just copies it. I'm not sure who's setting the price and who's copying it, but you know, on a $45,000 item, I don't see how you'd be so close on prices without uh, basically comparing yourself and trying to come up with, uh, you know, where the value was or, you know, how you argue that. By the way, I'm doing this on CarGurus just because CarGurus loads fairly fast. I uh, used to use AutoTrader, but AutoTrader has added so many ads in their program, like it just doesn't load. You know, it's waiting for ads to load, and I, I can't actually, uh, well, I don't want to sit there that long. Um, all right, on the Toyota, looking for uh, comparisons. Um, like, where to see discounts on the Toyota? Uh, the lots I've been to, there's a lot of trucks. Definitely a little more expensive, say five grand more for the Toyota, but also you're getting a six cylinder instead of the eight cylinder. So there is a little bit of downgrade in the engine. Um, the bonus of the Toyota, though, is that you're getting a little better reliability. Like this is a Consumer Reports article. Uh, it's got Toyota near the top, but I mean, it's got everybody else at the bottom. I mean, Chevy's 18, 
Ford's 20, GMC's 21, Dodge's down here at 25. And I mean, GMC and Chevy should have the same reliability. So there's room for error there. It's just the difference in who they asked or what those people were con complaining about. I just can't imagine that the GMC and the Chevy is having that much different of um, reliability when they're just about the same vehicle. So basically what I'm finding is 45,000 for a truck if you're okay with Chevy, GMC, or Ford, roughly for like your, your base model, which I mean, personally, I think that's about 10 grand high, but I mean, that's the reality of where we're living. Um, a Dodge, you know, closer to that 40 possibly, but it's gonna be, you know, it's gonna look like an old body style basically, because the uh, classic tradesman just doesn't look like the newer truck uh, up close. But uh, I mean, if you buy it to be a truck, it's a truck and uh, you know, uh, how the headlights look or the angle of the grill shouldn't be a factor. And then Toyota goes the other way. So Toyota, you're looking at about five grand more than the uh, Chevy GMC Ford or about 10 grand more than the, um, the Ram. Sorry, not a Dodge, but it's a Ram. Um, I really lose track of uh, Ram being a brand and not Dodge Ram, but uh, old habits die hard. Uh, but full-size trucks, if you're looking to get some work done, I, it's not cheap, but uh, watch what options you're looking for because the options is where they make their money. And the higher option ones possibly would sell faster, but is it going to really book for that much more when you go to get rid of it? So you're going to get better bang for your buck on trade-in and, of course, on paying for it up front with a little more of the uh, uh, base models. Um, don't spend too much unless you have to. And if you want to spend more money in a truck, yeah, there's lots of trucks out there that are more money. But uh, I, when I use a truck, I'm trying to get something done. I'm not uh, buying it to be the prettiest boy in town. I'm trying to, uh, you know, get the lumberyard and haul my stuff home or pull my trailer or whatever I'm trying to do. But that's my two cents worth on full-size trucks. Thank you.